Let's take a look at graphing a series of a uh, system of linear inequalities. As always on your calculator, you want to make sure that the stat plots are off. Go down to plots off, enter, and you want to make sure that there's no leftover equations in your y equals. Even though it's an inequality, you still need to enter the equations in as if they were equations rather than inequalities. So we need to enter in y equals x plus 2 and y equals negative 2x plus 5. Recall that you can graph this by hitting the Zoom 6 option on the calculator. So far we have a system of equations graphed. However, we need to take a look at how we can graph the system. After enter the, entering the equations on the calculator, you need to hit the Zoom 6 option. Notice this gives you the solution of the system of equations. We're trying to graph, however, the system of inequalities. In order to do this, we need to use the shade option. And then hit second draw, which is the second option on the program key. Go down to option 7, which says shade, and enter x plus 2 as your lower bound because your equation, uh, your inequality states that we're trying to shade the region above x plus 2 and then put in your negative 2x plus 5 as your upper bound because once again your inequality states that we're trying to shade the region below negative 2x plus 5. When you hit enter again, as you notice the uh, intersection of those two regions has been graphed on your calculator. If your inequalities are not already in slope-intercept form, you need to go ahead and solve each one of those equations for y uh, in order to enter them into your calculator. Don't forget that when dividing by a negative, your inequality symbol needs to be reversed. Once your inequalities have been solved for y, enter them uh, just like you did on the last step. Be careful with the fractions though. Make sure that you enclose them in parentheses and then we need to talk about being very careful with the shading as well. Notice that since the inequality symbols have turned around, our inequalities are y is less than or equal to 1 half x minus 5 fourths and y is greater than or equal to 3 fifths x minus 2. Now once it's graphed, you have to be very, very careful. Remember we said the lower bound 
is the one where you have y is greater than that number. So make sure that you put this second equation, 3 fifths x minus 2, in first when you go to do the shade function. Again, second draw. Go down to shade. Now be careful once again, make sure you add that extra parenthesis in there so that it'll work correctly. If it's x minus 2, that's your lower bound. And your upper bound, because y is less than a half x minus 5 fourths, needs to come second. Hit enter, and notice your intersection is shaded once again.